biggest news about the new firmware for the S is uh, the top speed was raised by two miles an hour. On top of that, you have a more comfortable, more stable board overall. Uh, the biggest difference I found is in, um, on patchy asphalt on uneven surface, the board feels a little bit similar to, uh, to an XR. Um, and the biggest news for the Pint X owners is this firmware can be fitted into your Pint X. So you're getting all the benefits of the new firmware for the S in your existing board. We got all the modes that you guys all know and love, plus a custom shape and mode where you change your board from loose to tight, tilt the nose and tail. Uh, you can make the board respond faster or keep a more kind of like a loose chill setting. And for tricks, you got single zone and dual zone and you can make the board engage for longer even when you're not on it. And that's helpful with drops. And you can also save your custom modes. Another cool feature is the the last two parameters, dual zone, single zone, and the jump re-engagement type. They will apply to other modes. All you need to do is save it here. Then you go to, let's say, Pacific that you really like, and uh, it'll apply to that mode as well.